Howdy, Paul Foster here with Second Hand Productions, and I recently had a project where uh, I had to replace the sky. It was kind of like a plain Jane scene, and I needed to put something more interesting in the background. Uh, now, fortunately enough, like uh, our scene here, uh, this selection that I've made here, uh, our sky, oops, uh, was our sky was uh, relatively consistent. And so that made life a little bit easier, but like as you're going to see here, we've got uh, a lot of moving things going on, and, and there's a lot of detail, you know, and keying out that, getting rid of that background. You're obviously not going to use a roto brush to accomplish this. Uh, because of the sky, you're not going to use key light. Uh, you could use a luma key or a color key, and, and you would get it close. But I found that uh, using uh, the color key or even the Luma key for that matter, you still have this uh, kind of like, a, it gives this effect on where it doesn't seem to feel like it blends in well with the background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I did this in just a few moments. It doesn't take very long at all. First thing you gotta do is you come down here to uh, your color correction. Oh, well, before we get going, all right, let's, let's duplicate this. We're gonna rename this, I'm gonna call this Matt. And then we're going to rename this, and uh, we're going to rename that and call it Source. That way we've kind of got everything kind of like locked in the way we want it. So on my mat, I'm going to go up here under my color correction. I'm going to find Colorama. Uh, there's other people have done this, but uh, they seem to be missing a step. And uh, I'm hoping I can close that gap for you. They show you to use Colorama, but the way they do it is a little differently. So we want to select the ray, ramp gray, all right? And then we want to add a channel, uh, go to channel and select the invert feature. So right out the gate, now we've got some good details. Now, I'm not so worried because this is on a tripod, so I can actually make another copy of it and I can mask out this bottom part. I can also create a custom mat that would do the same thing, you know, if, if there was motion and I needed to track something and I could really create a very dynamic mat. But what I like about this is you have a built in with, we haven't done anything. I didn't have to create a light wrap. It's automatically here. You see this tapering off effect and there's a, a couple other things. And so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this off. I'm going to bring down my background that I want to use. Uh, which is uh, one of these. Yeah, I think this is it. Select this in the background, and without having done much of anything, I'm going to Luma map this, and then voila, look at that. Right out the gate, I've already got, I'm already like 90% of the way there. That didn't take a lot of effort at all. And you can have this whole effect. Now, if I want to retain some of that original beach, then I can go into my source and I can duplicate this and I'll, I'll leave that out front and then I just because this is a static shot I'm just gonna plot uh, just very loosely you know I'm not trying to get too crazy with it but we're gonna plot out this and then uh, we will break this down and I'm gonna feather this out just a hair and then I'm going to pull it back. Okay. So then we'll move back to this other area. Now we will go about continuing to refine. Because I can still see a little bit of that. And that's still way better. I mean, if you just wanted to run with this, you could. But there's a couple more things we can still do. All right. Uh, one of the things we can do is we can take our, our colorama and, and we can actually have it kind of blend with the original image and our cycle repetitions. I can drop this down to like 0.9 and what that's going to do is, I mean, it all but makes everything go away. If I go down to say, you don't want to go too low. You go too low, you go 0.6 or something and then you pretty much, you've, you've stripped out it's kind of going too far. If you go way overboard, you see how I can really mess with you. So, um, I don't know, about 0.85. Let's try that. And all of a sudden, now I can see through each one of those leaves perfectly fine. 
not an issue. If I wanted to refine my, my top mask here, obviously that's uh, a little bit more than I was in, expecting to maintain. And uh, the, the beauty is this thing's on a, a static shot. So there's really no effort on my part to, I don't have to do a lot. I guess that's what, I guess that's the point I'm trying to make. And so with that, look at that. Colorama did almost all the work. Now you just add yourself color grade. You can throw in a, a couple uh, Mai Tais, an attractive woman in a bathing suit, and uh, boom. So when you play this, and I'm just going to show it, there's none of that. Uh, there's no chatter around the edges. You don't have any. You don't have to suppress any of the extra color. Um, it does help that I picked a sky that's kind of matching, but I can use any sky. Um, let's 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 just because I hate it when they they do demos, and it's like they picked the almost perfect match for what they were doing. But here's another sky. You know. And once again, I mean, you wouldn't know. Now, one of the cool things is if we k just keep on playing with that colorama a little bit, it it's really nice because I didn't even add. Uh, a lot of times, what they'll do is they'll add like a a, a black arrow here for, to return some of the details. And that will give you a lot of that crisp details. So I mean, if you take it out, it looks like this, you know. And it's really, it's your call. I mean, at this point, it becomes a little bit more artistic. And uh, I find that a little bit of translucency and transparency around the edges of your mat, really, that's the light wrap. <clears throat> Especially when you're talking about leaves and branches, things that are not going to have a lot of detail up close. This is a 4K footage, uh, 4K file uh, that I have on here. And if I set this to fit the screen, I mean, and I just play it, I mean, that looks good. And that didn't take any time at all. So look, I hope this is uh, this is useful to you. Obviously, there's a lot of different ways you can key something, uh, key backgrounds, uh, you know, I mean. Uh, and uh, I've used the Luma key. I've used the Roto brush. I've used, uh, I've manually force mass, you know, frame by frame. Uh, I've used key light, and, and when you get into the skies, key light's just not going to give you the kind of effect you want, you know. And I find that the Colorama uh, color correction will do a lot for you. So secondary color corrections, there's all kinds of cool stuff. So if you like this video, definitely hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to find out where we've got some of those coming up. We've got a lot of cool projects coming up that uh, we're hoping to be able to upload some more information really soon. And until then, you know, just keep playing with it. Have fun. We'll see you later. <clears throat>